The city of Lindale made history this evening by having several churches in the area come together and march for racial unity. KTK's Frank Jefferson was there and now joins us in studio. And Frank, we've been seeing events like this all across East Texas, but tonight a unique scene. That's right, Maya. There were over 100 people who participated in today's march, many from different denominations, several from different places, all willing to spread love and stand for equality. This is how I find my Go. This is how I find my and the answer is Jesus, because we truly believe that um, you know nothing's going to change until our hearts change. A historic moment in Lindale. Ten churches throughout the area bringing together their members of different denominations, races, and ages with one common goal: unity. God just kind of laid on my heart a few couple of weeks ago that I will never be able to understand what I'm not willing to acknowledge. The black community has been crying out for years to be heard, and I believe God heard our prayer. The community turned faith into works as they prepared to take action. The march will start here at the Lindale Fire Department, and it will end here at the cannery. Marching holding signs, and embracing one another in solidarity. And after the uh, events with George Floyd in Minneapolis, it was, just, it was just stirred on our heart that we cannot sit in silence regarding this. This is about justice. It's about righteousness. It's about right. It's about what is wrong. Intentional on growing, changing, making an impact. How this is going to take place, I don't have the answers, but we're going to do it by faith. Offit says the conversation of racial injustice doesn't end with tonight's event, stating this is only the beginning of a continued conversation to benefit people of every race. Frank Jefferson, KETK News. The group tells me that they don't have any future events planned right now, but they are looking forward to starting a conversation in their community. In studio, Frank Jefferson, KETK News.